Terry, can you help me shoot Kaden and Kenny with their anchors? What's the plan? Um, he's like supposed to be making a football and throwing oh, come it. On. My bad, guys. Can we just go? Yeah. Name something? Me? Yeah. He is first. And then I'll just say, I'm going to be like, huh? Did it, did it, did it, did it. Y'all, we got to do that. It would be really bad. That pass. What's good, what's good, what's good, what's good, what's good. My name is Kenny Troutman. And I'm Kay Thompson. And you're watching BD TV. Today we have a banger. Man, literally a banger, man. We finna go crazy not, for y'all. Not literally a banger. <laughs> Today we're on the topic of world conflict. And specifically on that topic, war. War. Now let's get into some more information with Luke about world conflict. Conflict tends to be a large part of our daily life. No one lives a life without conflict, but normally, it's not as serious as the one between Russia and Ukraine. Yesterday, several cities in Ukraine were bombed by Russia as President Vladimir Putin launched a military operation into the nation. And it has people feeling a little scared. Uh, it's really sad and depressing because not just from like every other person, but those in Ukraine, kids, they're like scared, they're like, what's going to happen next? And I saw a video online, kids being taught how to like, civilians being taught how to like use a gun, maneuver and stuff like that. I feel like personally, it's really sad because I don't want to be in that situation myself. I want to go to school knowing I'm safe and I'm doing what I need to do and not like scared. What might happen next? Are they going to invade, invade my nation or not? As the, uh, a little bit, yeah. It makes me nervous because like I said before, we don't really know what's going to happen or when it's going to happen. And it's all, it's all fair game, in my opinion. Conflict tends to be a large part of our daily life. No one lives a life without conflict, but normally it's not as serious as the one between Russia and Ukraine. Yesterday, several cities in Ukraine were bombed by Russia as President Vladimir Putin launched a military operation into the nation. And it has people feeling a little scared. Now on to some fun facts about Black History Month. Lawrence Eugene Doby, a.k.a. Larry Doby, was an American professional baseball player in the Negro Leagues and Major League Baseball. He was the second black player to break baseball's color barrier and the first black player in the American League. He was born on December 13, 1923, and died on June 18, 2003. He died when he was 80 years old. He finished his 13-year Major League career with a 283 batting average, 1,515 hits, 253 home runs, and, and 1,533 games, and also a 5,348 at-bats. Congrats to Larry Doby being the best and popular black baseball athlete. Corbin Harris, BD TV. Being a woman of color in America is not easy. Today, we want to focus on Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou was born April 4, 1928. She was an American poet. She published seven autobiographies, three books of essays, several books of poetry, and is credited with a list of plays, movies, and television shows spanning over 50 years. She has received dozens of awards and more than 50 honorary degrees. Angelou is best known for her series of seven autobiographies, which focus on her childhood and early adult experiences. The first, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings, which was published in 1969, tells of her life up to the age of 17 and brought her international recognition and acclaim. Maya Angelou has done a lot in her life and deserves her spot in American history. My name is Hattie Lewis and in honor of Black History Month, we have Blackout Tuesday. Did you wear black?
Attention, attention. Thursday, March 3rd is SAT day. Juniors will be the only ones in school, meaning seniors and sophomores will have an e-learning day. Juniors, come prepared to do your best. You will be an impact for the day. Mariah Scott, BD TV. Thanks, Mariah. Now to Chris and Drew with sports. Something, something isn't right with me. There we go. I get to be the bearer of bad news, but winter is not over yet. I'm Lily Nagel, and I will be doing your weather report for this week. Today, a high of 32 and a low of 17 with cold, cloudy, and snowy weather. This weekend, on Saturday, there will be a high of 36 and a low of 26. And on Sunday, it will be a high of 39 and a low of 16. But next week, there will be highs in the 50s and lows in the 30s, and it will be mostly cloudy all week. I, for one, hope that we can get some warmer weather leading up to spring break. Lily Nagel, BD, TV. In 2011, most teen stress came from teachers at school. In 2013, pressure from school is still a factor, but has been joined by pressure from parents and themselves to do well. Pressure to stay up to date and present the best possible image on social media is also a source of stress. Approximately two-thirds of teens with major depression also batter another mood disorder like dysthymia, anxiety, antisocial behaviors, or substance abuse. Young people who experience trauma or disruptions at home, including divorce and deaths of parents. You can try talking about your feelings or keeping a notebook to write your thoughts. You're not alone. Stay strong and press on. Zariah Taylor, BD TV. Prom is vastly approaching. Be sure you're on the lookout for when tickets are dropping. You can purchase tickets at the bookstore during your lunch periods. Prom will be held April 30th at the Children's Museum. And remember, Giants, if you have any detentions you have not served, you will not be allowed to attend prom. Leah Willigy, BD TV. What's your biggest pet peeve? Not everyone has one. Some get irritated more easily than others, but no matter how big or how small, we all have a minor annoyance that we find particularly irritating. We've asked some of our own teachers and students what their biggest pet peeves are. Here's what they had to say. My biggest pet peeve is when people smack because that's annoying. My biggest pet peeve is people when they come to school musty in 30 degree weather. Bye. Like, uh, it's probably when people walk slow in the hallways. Like, I hate slow walkers in the hallways. Got a place to be. Uh, another thing is Tim's in the summer. Why are you wearing Tim's in the summer? We're not in New York. My biggest pet peeve is when people laugh for no reason, or when people just be smacking when they be chewing, or like hearing somebody chew. Like, I just feel like you doing too much, and that's childish. I'll go with social media. Social media is a touchy place. A lot of people don't know how to use it, or or they, they are different people behind their screens than they are in real life, and that, that bothers me. I, um, I try not to be hypocritical. I'm sure I'm guilty of that sometimes, too. I really do not like it when people whistle mm -hmm. loudly, like in the store, or talk on their phone on speakerphone, when they're like, you know, at the grocery store, or things like that. My biggest pet peeve is when people use the words, or say the words, I can't, because when you use those words, you can really do anything you Put your mind to so if you have a great attitude and you give great, great effort you can do anything you want stinking like i don't want to stink bro like i can't i can't handle stenches and stink or i can't do it i'm probably my biggest pet peeves say you so bd tv i'm jose Olan and i have uh chloe and taryn and we're doing an ice cream taste testing so we have six different flavors of ice cream so now let's begin. <laughs> it's giving salted caramel. No. Yes, it is. Mm -mm. It has to be. That's cookie dough. That is definitely not cookie dough. 
Oh, yeah, you say salt and caramel. That's be salt and caramel. Salt and caramel. That's yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the final it's, guess. It's creme brulee. What? Oh. <laughs> 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 it's sharper. That's yeah, sharper. Mm. I don't want it anymore. It was sherbet. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I don't want it. Where's the cup? Uh, um, I already know what it is. I don't know where my... I don't know where it's at. Is this even the right way? This is not even the right way. Uh. It's peanut butter. I don't like it. It's very disgusting. I feel like I just had a big chunk of peanut butter, mm. and I literally cannot stand peanut butter. I love peanut butter. Cookie dough. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Final answer is cookie dough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bro, I'm missing it again. I don't know where it's at. No, but this Strawberry? Yep, it's a strawberry shortcake. <laughs> mm. I don't like strawberry with anything. I don't even want to taste it no more. I know it's strawberry though. Mm. This is definitely the caramel. Since we got all of the flavors right, there's no winner today, but we all know who the winner is. Me. No, it's me. It's, it's me. definitely me. I'm Terry Coles. And I'm Chloe Belton. BDTV. Hey, what up, dog? What up? Hey, How you doing? How you doing? Good, man. Yes, yeah, sir. <sighs> Ice cream, bro. Boo, man. That looks so good. Look but good, that newscast, dude. though, yeah. that was right. a smooth newscast. It was a good newscast, man. And that's all for today, Giants. And remember, if, if it's, it's about, about you and me, me it's on BDTV. BDTV. <laughs>